In this video, we will be answering the frequently asked question, what can we learn from eye tracking? In the following user session, we will highlight what Toby Pro Sprint is able to uncover compared to other user testing methods. This user was instructed to search for and purchase a portable speaker on Amazon's website. In the first few seconds, we can already see the user look at the search bar, header content, and glance at the main call to action above the fold before any significant mouse movement. The user then clicks on the search bar and conducts a search. Immediately, we see the user look at the first results from their search. They then move to the search results categories to confirm they are in the right place. This conclusion was supported by a follow-up interview question. The user then scrolls down the page. They focus solely on the prices of the speakers, identifying this information as a key factor in their product choice. They then focus on price and the limited time deal marker on this anchor speaker. They glance at the product title and then proceed to click on the product. On the product page, they skim the product title again, then scroll down to skim through the description. The user clicks to see an additional image of the product, then spends time looking at the product's regular price. The user stated they desired additional product colors in a follow-up interview question. After a few more seconds of looking around, the user finds the Add to Cart call to action and clicks on it to proceed to purchase. As you can see from this example, eye tracking uncovers a wealth of information that cannot be captured by other user testing methods. By implementing Toby Pro Sprint alongside mouse tracking, interviews, and other traditional methods, UX designers and researchers gain a comprehensive look into how users interact with their designs, enabling them to quickly and efficiently craft ideal user experiences for their users.